Hello friends, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Everybody just take a second and breathe with me, please. Just breathe. <laughs> I know I'm late. I know. I'm sorry. Yesterday was chaos. I'm going to start this off with, I hate shopping. <laughs> and my son is growing like a weed. I just ordered a bunch of clothes for him online. Nothing fit. <laughs> Nothing fit. I put, you know, wrong size, too huge. So it was returning things and getting back online and ordering the correct sizes of things and hoping that things come in time for picture day next week. Okay. Anyway, that's enough of my sad sack of a life. Let's throw down some cards. Okay. As usual, I'm not making decisions. I'm letting cards decide. Okay. I have no idea who is next in this pile. No clue whatsoever. So Sagittarius, you're up. All right. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October. If it resonates with you, friends, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Don't take with you what is not yours. Just walk away from it. Check your other placements. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind though, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of our friends, the cross watchers and dear cross watchers. You guys are always welcome here. Always, always, always. So a couple more shuffles. Universe source and spirits. I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2020. I thank you for joining me today. Thank you for blessing me with this gift. And I ask for clarity and accuracy so that we can give Sagittarius messages to bring them to their highest good. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Hmm. As usual, you know, I'm just going to set this right here. Get it out of the way there. Your energy. Their energy. Conflict, possible resolution, projected outcome. First of all, what brings you here today? Seven of Swords reversed. Okay. Truth's coming out. Hmm. I'm sensing fear coming off of that. Just a little bit, just a little bit of fear. Fear of knowing the truth. Fear of someone else knowing your truth. Hmm. Okay, well, nobody panic yet. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Will of Fortune in reverse. You feel unfinished business with this person. <laughs> I chuckle because it's like a, a sense of, oh gosh, this ain't over yet. Okay. What do you think of them? Ace of Cups. That can swing a lot of ways. That's like a crazy pendulum. Maybe you think they're off finding new love. Maybe you think there could be a new start with them. You could think, you know, I'm going off doing my own thing, finding new stuff. I don't want no part of that. We'll see. Okay. We'll throw a clarifier on it here in a minute. What do you want from them? The Empress. Hmm. Well, that's a game changer, ain't it? That that's the card of growth and expansion. This is the this is the ultimate catch. This is the one you you want to make babies with, okay? <laughs> this is Hmm. I'm kind of seeing how this is connecting a little bit now. How do they feel about you? 3 of cups reversed. Okay. 
That can indicate third party. They could feel like they don't want to reunite with you for some reason. They could feel like it's just not coming together. They could feel like, oh, they're still coming out of a third party situation. I, I don't know about Sag. Maybe there are secrets involved here. What do they think of you? Six of Cups reversed. Yeah, this is coming together now because this is the salty feelings card and this is the not so happy memories card. Mm -hmm. I got nine out upside down cups on this table right now and there's only one upright one. I don't know who did what. I'm not pointing fingers. Hmm. Oh, Sagi, Sagi, Sagi. Hmm. What do they want from you? Three of Pentacles reversed. I'm not sensing they want to build this foundation. Hmm. Okay. It's the don't want to come together. What's the obstacle here? Ten of Swords reversed. Somebody got stabbed in the back. Again, I am not pointing fingers. I'm not. I'm reading cards. The sun is unable to shine in somebody's world because they got stabbed in the back. That pain hasn't come to an end. Could have had something to do with some secrets. Mmm. Maybe you want to come back around to them. So what I'm gathering from this so far, you might want to make a comeback around. We're going to throw clarifiers on before. I'm just going to shut up. What needs to be done? The Knight of Pentacles. It's not a page, it's a night, but nonetheless, it's an offer. If that was a page, I would say that offer might be a small apology, but that's a night. So I feel compelled to say that that offer might be an even bigger apology because I got, I got swords, I got spilt cups. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to leave this card for the end and grab some clarity for our friends, our Sagittarius brothers and sisters. Do I have the right deck? Yes, I do. Okay. super annoying and I forgot to silence it. There, that'll shut up now. Okay. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Sagittarius, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. For the month of October. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bite it. Why is the seven of swords reversed up there at the top? What's going on with that seven of swords reversed universe? Tell me a little more about that. Thanks. <clears throat> Eight of Wands reversed. Oh Lies by omission, perhaps. still a lie. It's still a secret. 
even even though you didn't necessarily give an incorrect answer to a direct question, sometimes not saying what needs to be said can just as equally hurt. Know what I'm saying? Withholding information. All right, one card on the Wheel of Fortune reversed, please. One card of clarity. One card, one card, one card. Four of Pentacles reversed. It's the come back around. It's the letting go. The cycle's not over. Letting something go. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles. You want the new start? You think they're the catch? Yeah. That Queen of Pentacles and that Empress, they, they jiving. They jiving. Why is the Empress here? They jiving. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles came back up. I'm not pointing fingers. Not at all. All things being vice versa. Either you want an apology or you want to apologize, Sagittarius. You want to grow with this person. You want to do over. You want to start. You think they're the catch. You want to let go. You want to restart this cycle. Wow. Holy Moses. Okay. Let's creep over onto this side. Dig into their energy a little bit. Three cups reversed. Why is the three cups reversed here for what the other person feels about Sagittarius? Oh, got a twofer. Mm, the chariot reversed and the six of swords. This is some wishy-washy energy. Very wishy-washy. They feel like the gap is closing with this chariot reversed, but they're, they're trying to pull away. They feel the separation. Hmm. Maybe they feel like you pulled away. It's not a harmonious thing they got going on with you right now. Maybe they feel the gap closing, but they feel you pulling away, going towards something else or vice versa. Maybe they want to be friends, but for whatever reason, they feel themselves moving on from the connection. That's wishy-washy energy not quite able to make up their mind. Somebody's harboring a lot of like negative mem memories and negative energy and a lot of pain in this connection, guys. Why is the Six of Cups reversed here? Eight 
Ace of Wands. I need one more on that. Hermit reversed. Oh! I know exactly what that's telling me. There's, there's salty feelings. They think it was all about one thing with you, and damn, I'm not pointing fingers. All things can be vice versa. The energy I'm getting off this little clump of cards right now is one thing mattered and nothing else did, and, and that's a wand. sugar and spice and everything nice and I'm not going to go too far into that for certain personal reasons but there's more to a relationship than one certain aspect and they kind of feel like you had your head in the sand in regards to everything else they haven't healed from this yet wow They feel like you've gone off and started something new. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here? Or they've gone off and started something new. New passions. You can be passionate about a lot of things. What they want, Three of Pentacles reversed, but the Two of Wands reversed too. Bit more of that wishy washy energy. The foundation is unsteady. It is unstable. They can't see it coming together, but they're stuck at the crossroads in regards to it. One more. Two of cups reversed. They feel the connection. It may not be as strong, but they feel it. They could be fighting it. There's a lot of wishy-washy energy over here, but that happens when there's negative energy thrown into something. When somebody screws up, again, I am not pointing fingers. Somebody screwed up here. But faith, there's no such thing as a wrong path. There is no such thing as a wrong path. There isn't. All paths lead to the same destination. It's how you choose to play your journey. It's how you choose to play the game. How many pebbles do you want to walk over or hot coals on your journey? How many hot coals do you want to walk on? Just asking questions here, guys. All right. Why is this Ten of Swords reversed here? Page of Pentacles reversed. There it is. The obstacle in this connection is there's pain from lack of apology. So whoever did whatever, I'm not even going to throw another one on that. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Page of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Potential resolution. Oh, Sag. Wow.
one more. Page of Swords, Truth. Okay. No matter what comes out of it. Even if you try to hand them that cup and they throw it back in your face. Right now, the truth is going to mean more than anything. And I'm talking to both of you, Sagittarius and Crosswatcher, because I don't know who did what. <laughs> I don't. And I'm not pointing fingers. The truth is going to mean more than anything right now. Do what you will. Projected outcome. King of Swords. Another card of truth. He makes logical, non-emotional decisions. He's an evolved king. You can say. Very evolved. He also has a tendency to cut people out of his life very quickly. His, hers, pick your pro now. <sighs> Throw one card on that. And then we're going to get some advice for you. Not that you need it, because... Alright, Four of Swords. Things being laid to rest. This could mean the entire situation and somebody's going to get cut out of somebody's life completely and that's the risk you take. This can mean laying the situation to rest. You know, I'm going to throw one more on that because Sagittarius needs a little bit of sunshine and roses on this. Okay, I'll take two. Six of Wands upright, death reversed. You can't kill what's already dead. If you can, if whoever did whatever and doesn't come in with that offer of truth, no matter the outcome. It's either a victorious return with nothing changing, oh wow, somebody's got a decision to make, ultimately. I think you both do, no matter who did what. I mean, you think the world of this person, Sag, and you let, I don't want to point fingers, but this is so hard. Somebody was left scarred. Somebody was left traumatized by this and they have not healed yet. Put them back where they go. And the only way to make this right, the only way to make this right, is that offer of truth. It's the only way to make this right. All right, let's get some advice. One's reversed in the King of Cups. Taking two off the top for that. Wow. Eight of Wands reversed, two of Swords reversed. You don't know till you try. 
You don't know until you try. It's very obvious that you have a great deal of emotion for this person. You don't know until you try to communicate. And that may be a difficult decision. But if you love the person and you care and you really want a genuine new start, you got you got to clean your own slate here. Because you can't try to walk back into this with the same crap that was there. And I'm talking to both of you right now. You got to clean your own slate. world in the reverse and the five of pentacles in the reverse again you you don't know if it's over until you try and if there's unfinished business if you left something hanging out there the only way to deal with it is to try to come back in from the cold two off the top The Nine of Wands in the reverse, and Karma. At the very least, once those walls come tumbling down, you could, you know, put a cycle to an end. Or you could restart a new one. But you don't know until you try, do you? No, you don't. Okay. That's what I have for you, Sag. Happy October. Be blessed, friends. Thanks for coming by. Uh, wow, that was heavy. Whoa, that was heavy. It's like a wrecking ball of a chest. Oh, gosh. All right. I will catch you guys again for another reading in a couple of weeks. Um, Neon and I are kicking the ball around about a possible Halloween live. We're not sure because Halloween falls on a Saturday and I have to work that day. And she's planning a horror movie marathon with her friends. And I know we might do something right around there. Possibly. Don't know yet. But at the very least, there's going to be a special Who's Coming Back to Haunt You series in honor of both Halloween and the Mercury Retrograde. So that should be fun. We're going to be doing that about the middle of the month. Anyway, I love you guys. Be blessed. Thanks for coming by, and we'll see you soon.